The Ace Attorney series is really one of those series that, on paper, wouldn't be the most interesting set of video games in the world, within which you play as a defense attorney and defend your clients in a court of law. This sounds as appealing as a game about running your own farm or paying off a mortgage, yet this game has become one of Capcom's most beloved series that is known for its amazing writing, character development, music, and gameplay. What gives Ace Attorney a lot of charm would be its writing. In Ace Attorney, you primarily control Phoenix Wright and his quest to defend the wrongly accused. The original trilogy of Ace Attorney games have you focusing on the relationship between Phoenix Wright and Maya Fey, along with a colorful cast of characters. The initial trilogy does a good job of setting up the stage for who Phoenix Wright is and for what he stands for. In each game, you'll go up against a new prosecutor who will stand in your way and have it out for Phoenix Wright for one reason or another. Each game is normally broken up into about five cases, and for most of the series, each case really doesn't relate to an overall plot, but serves as a way to better develop the cast and how they handle the events that are put forth. You start out as some greenhorn attorney fresh out of law school and develop them into, well, an ace attorney. Each case is also a lot of fun that can have some of the biggest twists and turns I never thought were imaginable. There are times where the trial was turned on its head and everything that I fought up to this point turned out to be a lie, and that there was a much bigger crux to the situation. These turnabout moments always led me to want to keep playing and discover more of the motives behind each witness and what they are doing in regards to the case. It's this kind of action that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the final day of the trial where the verdict is passed down. I think what really sells the series is not really the overall narrative itself, but the colorful cast of characters. Phoenix Wright is just a goofball trying to play as a straight man who has to put up with Maya Faye's shenanigans while trying not to have a breakdown in court. You have the lovable Dick Gumshoe who, while incompetent at times, is really just trying to do his best as a detective and make sure the criminals are brought to justice. You also have the prosecutors who each act as Wright's rival, and every one of them has some pretty solid motives. As to avoid spoilers, I won't go into much of them, but Miles Edgeworth has seriously become one of my favorite characters in the series, as the straightforward and stern character is the perfect foil to rights. You also have some pretty memorable supporting characters as well, which makes all the investigations you are on feel much more fun, rather than a chore. It should be mentioned that the original trilogy really has cases that do not pertain to some larger-than-life scheme. After Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, series creator Shu Takumi left to work with Level 5 on Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright. Capcom decided to move on with the series without him and put Takeshi Yamazaki, the creator of the Ace Attorney spin-off series Ace Attorney Investigations, as the showrunner for the series. The Ace Attorney Investigations series has you play as Wright's rival, Miles Edgeworth, as you investigate crimes to bring forth to prosecute. The reason I am bringing this up is because here you can see the larger difference between Takumi-san's and Yamazaki-san's development style. Takumi-san's Ace Attorney games focus more on the motive as to why someone did something, then followed up with how the person did it. This leads to a lot more character development with the series' villains, and makes them much more memorable. In the case of Yamazaki-san, his games focus much more on how a person did something rather than the why. His writing style also has all of the cases tying together in one way or another to reveal some big bad who was working in the shadows the whole time. While this worked mostly in the investigation games, it has led to some questionable motives from characters in the main games. That said, neither approach is honestly bad, and Yamazaki-san has gotten much better as of late, but this still can be jarring when you go from Apollo Justice right into Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice. Now that we covered a lot of the whole aspect of the narrative in the series, let's talk about the gameplay of the series. Each Ace Attorney game is broken up into Investigation Mode and Trial Mode. In Investigation Mode, you gather testimony and evidence for the upcoming trial at different crime scenes and places around the city. And during the trial, you'll be listening to witness testimony and comparing it against your evidence. This is where the fun comes in. There is nothing more satisfying than finding the right piece of evidence and letting out a good OBJECTION! The fun doesn't stop there, though. Just because you found yourself a contradiction doesn't mean the prosecution will let it go normally. Finding the first contradiction is the first step in unwinding the long raveled wire that is the truth, and it all comes to a crescendo of a surprise witness, evidence, or a cornering that turns the entire trial up on its head. It should also be mentioned that each game has its own gameplay gimmicks that can be used in trials and in investigations, and most of them actually carry over into later games and continue expanding on how you can investigate for court. This can range from normal forensic and investigations to the supernatural. These additions can add entire new ways to probe for new information to expand the game's plot. While I know I didn't talk much about the gameplay in comparison to the writing, it's because when you boil it down to the most simplest form, it becomes just a point-and-click game of puzzles to solve. That said, I never knew I could ever be so engrossed in simple gameplay like that. It doesn't need to have all of these mechanics going on at once in, say, like Danganronpa or the Nonary games to get the point across. 
the straight to the point gameplay may even be the most rewarding you play in a long time. The next thing I want to touch on what this series does so well is with the soundtrack. There has never been a series where I'm excited for the OST as I am with the Ace Attorney series. This is because of every new entry, there is new versions of songs that play during objections, investigations, testimony, and pursuits. Each of these tracks always managed to fit the mood so perfectly. The best example of this would have to be some of the scenes in which the original investigation theme plays. The track always gives off this unsettling feeling when it's played, and that something was wrong or everything in front of me was not as it seems. The music on multiple occasions just fully immersed me into the gameplay and kept me moving forward and wanting to find out more. Even though I only mentioned it in passing, the Ace Attorney series is filled with a ton of games for you to explore, from mainline to spin-offs. You have the mainline series which currently consists of 6 games, all of which can be played on your 3DS or smart device. You have the Ace Attorney Investigation series where you can take the role of Miles Edgeworth and investigate numerous crime scenes. Currently only the first game has been localized officially, but there are some pretty cool people who have done a fan translation of Investigations 2, which is probably my favorite game in the series. Additionally, there's Shu Takumi's latest spin-off series, Dai Gaiyukuten Seibun, where you play as Phoenix Wright's great-grandfather in the Meiji era. Sadly, neither game in the Dai Gaiyukuten Seibun series has been localized, but I still hold out hope that it will happen one day. So, mix of some amazing narrative, characters that are easy to adore, simple yet addicting gameplay, and some of the best music in gaming, you have yourself a mix of games that you can easily find yourself falling in love with. The Ace Attorney series is probably the series that made me appreciate narrative and gaming, and that if the right combination of narrative and gameplay can be mixed together, you can have yourself an adventure that will make you want to keep coming back for more. Thankfully, all of the mainline Ace Attorney games can be bought on the 3DS or your smart device, and maybe hopefully one day the Nintendo Switch so you can easily hop right into the original trilogy to get a feel for the series yourself. That does it for today's commentary. I'd like to thank all of my patrons on Patreon for making today's video possible. So what do you guys think? Is the Ace Attorney series now the next series you'll take a dive into? Or is it one of those series you've been in love with for years like myself? I would love to hear from what you have to say on this. If you're new to my channel and just finding me out for the first time through this video, hey, be sure to subscribe and stick around for future reviews, commentaries, let's plays, and more. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.